Hi there, this is iCastiano and in this video we're going to do a review on this 1968 Dodge Dart made in 1 to 18 scale by Highway 61. So don't forget to subscribe my channel in case you haven't subscribed yet. Please give me a thumbs up, share this video and click the bell for your news. So let's unbox this car and take a better look at it. <music> This 1968 Dart that's made by Highway 61 at 1 to 18 scale. This car is made in silver. Period. That's one of the colors in a 1968 catalog for Dutch Dart. And it's a GTS. This particular model car has got some issues. And that's the reason I've got this car for a very good price at the time. I don't remember how much it was, but it was a pretty long time ago. As soon as I managed to repair those items, I intend to make a video of those repairs. So let's take a better look at this car in this review. This body started in 1967 and went to 1969. In 1970, there were a few changes in the front and the rear, but the basic body lines remained the same. In 1971, there were different taillights and bumper guards. In 1972, a different grille. In 1973, a completely different front with reinforced bumpers according to American legislation. In 1974, a different rear that continued until 1975 when a uh, Dodge Dart was discontinued and uh, the production of a Dodge Aspen started. This, this model car made by Highway 61 has top quality in all details. The color is very nice. It seems to be a silver art. 68 differs from 1969 when you look at the side from those fake air intakes and the hood that are different in 1969. Those directional lights on the sides at the tip of a fender and the rear quarter panel. In 1969, they become rectangular and go below this body line both in the rear and in the front. GTS logos are higher and narrower for 1968 and lower and wider for 1969. Besides those bumblebee stripes here in the rear, instead of being double or a single wider stripe with those tiny stripes at the edges for 1969. And the same thing happened to Dodge Charger and Coronet. The front of the car, as we noticed, has a very good quality. And the grille is an actual grille. We can notice here the front panel is seen through the grille. This hood has got a little misalignment. It's a little more to the right than to the left side. So the gap here is a little wider. This is one of the issues I'm going to try to correct. The second issue this model car has is this windshield has got a crack. And it's a little bend to this side here. Probably it was somewhat overheated. I don't know if it was the effect of the sun or anything like it but it's got this issue and this is something I'm gonna repair someday when I have a chance. Fortunately my other dart and the same color is in perfect condition and doesn't have these issues but neglecting the issues it's an excellent model car with a top quality Highway 61 knows how to do. Headlights and directional lights and grill bumper are all very Realistic. A GTS logo, that's a photo etched logo, is not a painting or a decal or anything engine like Engine bay of this car with all details. The valve covers are chrome in this case. The engine is blue, it's a 383 with a four barrel carburetor. The cables, wires, distributor cables, and spark plug cables are all very well reproduced. A reservoir, battery, radiator, radiator cap, rail which is an actual grill, not only a mesh. Front panel, the engine bay itself, hood hinges, which are very realistic and like the ones in a real car. Unfortunately, this hood won't stay open. It's probably part of one of the issues this particular die-cast model car has. The radiator cap is also very realistic. Firewall is reproduced with perfection. Very well-made dashboard with a horizontal speedo. Three spokes steering wheel with a horn trim. The seats that tilt are very well-made. Seat belts and buckles. Carpet door panels are also very realistic, just like the doors, the mirrors, and the vent windows that are openable. This is the second issue this model car has. This vent window is actually carved, so perhaps this car was exposed to some sort of heat. I'm not quite sure what happened to it. Unfortunately, it didn't damage more things than this vent window and the windshield and the passenger side. The pedals are very well made. Interior is all 
well made in general. Door shuts correctly, directly aligned, cast in metal, lock, door handle as a separate part. Chrome trims are all perfect. From the passenger side, you can see the issue that happened to the windshield. But one thing that's very curious, this windshield is damaged on the passenger side. It's a little kind of melts down a little bit and somewhat deformed due to that. That's something I'm going to try to repair. But the vent window is intact and the driver's side vent window where there was no damage to the windshield at all is bent. So this is curious. I'm very curious about what actually happened to this car. But anyway, neglecting those defects, the model car is exceptional. The door panels, window cranks, and all the other details are perfect and very well made. The headliner, that's attached to the windshield. The windshield damaged, I'm gonna try to repair. Dome light is intact. Passenger door that shuts correctly. And the Chrysler Panther Star in the right fender. It's the only decay on this car and the other logos are all photo ads. Very realistic tail lights made in acrylic with the chrome trim with the top quality. The rear panel that's made in plastic with the chrome trim. It's also very realistic. The GTS logo and a dual exhaust the floor mat, a gas pipe, as well as a rubber seal around it. Unfortunately, the trunk lid won't stay open, so I have to hold it. This is one of the issues I'm going to have to repair. The trunk lid is also perfect. The hinges are perfect. The base of the car and Highway 61 does an excellent job in this car under carriage. Just like it happens to GMP, Earl Authentics, it has working suspensions in the rear and in the front. Those leaf springs are also very realistic. A drive shaft spins. A differential is very realistic. The mufflers and the car unibody, since Chrysler's used a lot of unibodies in their cars. They claim for a more solid construction. The engine in the correct color. The front suspension has got all correct components. Rear suspension as well. And a gas tank and a spare tire bay right here. They're all made with perfection. Wheels and tires are also great. Quality of wheels and tires, and even a filling cap. Gas cap that's removable, stripes with a very high quality. Directional light made with a very good realism. The working suspension. Ranking this car from zero to 10, I would give it a 10, as I usually do to Highway 61 Dodge Darts. They're really perfect cars. They're made with very good quality. And this car is no exception to the rule. I'm not going to take those issues that happen to this particular model into account since they're not responsibility of the manufacturer, but something that happened to this particular unit during handling or transportation, whatever. So with all details, with the painting quality, with all reproductions that were really fantastic. So I'd like to thank you for all likes and views. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel in case you haven't subscribed yet. And let me know down in your comments what you think about the car and about the video. Don't forget to click the bell for news to give me a thumbs up and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.